Welcome to Excise and Licenses online training videos. This video will show you how to submit a transfer of location application for a marijuana license. There are a couple of steps that you'll want to take before you apply online. The first thing that you'll want to do is go to the Marijuana Licenses website to see all required documents for a transfer of location application. And then you'll want to make sure that you have your documents filled out and uploaded on your computer. Please make sure that those documents are in a JPEG or PDF format. Excise and Licenses is not able to open up any other type of file format. And then also most important, all of the licenses that are associated with this address, to be able to apply for a transfer of location online, all of those licenses have to have first been transitioned to online processing. So you'll first want to make sure that all of the licenses are transitioned online and approved online before you can apply for a transfer of location online. And then you'll want to um, log into Denver's Online Permitting and Licensing Center. You'll want to make sure that you have a credit or a debit card ready. And you may also process a payment from a bank account. You would need the routing number, account number, account holder name, and account type. And the type of credit cards that we use accept our Discover, MasterCard, and Visa. Okay, so now we're at Denver's Permitting and Licensing Center. And you are going to log in using the email and password that you used for your account to transition your licenses online. So you'll log in using your password. All right, and then you're gonna to come to the main page and you can uh, either click on my records or you can click on renew or manage. Let's, for this example, let's click on renew or manage. And then it's gonna take you to the page where you have all of your records. The record that you want to look for to process a transfer of location is you first need to find the establishment, the licensed establishment, or the address that you want to do a transfer of location for. So you're going to look under license type. You're going to look for a license type that says licensed establishment. And then over on the right where the address is listed, you want to look at the address and make sure that this licensed establishment and there's the license number the license type is licensed establishment you'll have the record name and then the address make sure that this is the address and the record name that you want to transfer and then you'll go over to the right and you'll click on amendment and then here you're going to tell us what you want to do with that location and for this example we're going to click on this initiate transfer of location and then you're going to click on continue application and this page is going to tell you what you'll need to do to process the transfer of location so just read all of this for what it takes to process the transfer of location and then you'll click on get started now this page you're going to tell us where you want to transfer your license. So you're going to enter in the new address that you want to use to transfer your license. So you'll enter the street number and the street name, and then you're going to click on search, and then you're going to find the exact address that you want to transfer to. So if there's a suite number or whatever, you're going to pick what you want to transfer to and then you will pick the bubble that matches and if a bubble doesn't come up that's okay also and then you will click on select and then here it says do you operate out of multiple units so the licenses that you are applying for do they only apply to a specific suite or does that license go from suite 101 through 301 and it has to be the same license that goes through those multiple suite numbers for this example we're going to say no it's only in one suite and so we're going to answer no and then we're going to click on continue application 
And then here it's saying, okay, these were the licenses that were at the old address. Do you want to transfer all of these licenses to the new address? And you will click on the ones that apply. For this example, I'm gonna say that we're moving two of the licenses, but leaving one license behind. And then we're gonna click on Edit Selected. And then we're gonna say Transfer. We're gonna click on the little square next to Transfer, and we're gonna tell them we want to transfer these two licenses, these two license number to the new address. And then you'll click on Submit. And then you're gonna, again, just make sure you look over here, are we transferring these two licenses and they should say yes and then the one that we're leaving behind should be blank and then if everything looks good we'll click on continue application and then here is your last chance to review it's going to you want to review this and again make sure that you, it says yes to the ones that you want to transfer and that it's blank for the one that you're going to leave behind and if you need to edit anything you can go back and edit and then we'll click, you'll read the oath of application and make sure you read the entire oath. And if you agree to that, you'll check the box and then you'll click on create application package. All right. And then now it's going to ask you to complete these two portions of the transfer of location. So on the first one, licensed establishment, let's click on start. And then here it's just asking you to verify the address that we're transferring to and then you click on continue application and then here it's telling you which documents are required for the transfer of um, location application and you'll want to make sure that you have all of these documents loaded onto your computer and that they're completed and that they're in a pdf or jpeg format and then um, if you don't have those documents ready you can click here, save and resume within 30 days. You can get the documents, make sure they're on your computer, and then you can come back and resume this application. For this example, we're going to click on continue application. And then here it's just asking, do you have a specific location name for this? And this is just for like your record keep keeping. Is it store, you know, store name club number 10? Is it store number 123? Um, you can have a location name or you can just leave it blank and then you click on continue application and then here it's asking you for the on-site manager information for the new location so you're going to enter in their name their home address their city their state the zip code their date of birth a good contact phone number a good email and then their position at that location and then you'll click on submit and then again just really quickly review everything make sure all of the information is correct and then you'll click on continue application and then here for the new location do you own the location or are you renting for this example we're going to say rent and then it wants um, an expiration date that is on the lease and the expiration date has to be at least a uh, 90 days in the future from the date of the application and then you'll click on continue application and then here is where you're going to upload all of the documents so the first document that we're going to upload is the zoning use permit so you click on upload you find that on your computer and then you add that and then the next one is the possession of property or the lease and so you'll find that on your computer and if it's a lease you want to make sure that you have all pages of the lease including um, amendments and extensions and that it's fully executed that it's signed and we if it's a 300 page lease we want all 300 pages and then in, the next one is the burglar alarm monitoring contract and then the burglar alarm permit and then the floor plan of the new location all right, and once everything has been uploaded successfully, you'll click on continue application. And then this page again is you're gonna just review everything. If everything looks good, 
you'll again read the, the oath of application. If you agree to that, you'll check the box and you'll click on continue application. And then the next thing is the transfer of location request. You're going to click on start. And then here, it's just going to ask you for some information regarding the licenses that you are transferring. You want to make sure that you have all of these uh, documents uploaded on your computer. And then you're going to click on continue application. And for this, they want the uh, alarm permit number for the new location. So you'll put in that information and then you'll click on continue application. And then it's going to ask for the Denver sales tax license if one of the licenses that you are transferring is either a marijuana store or a hospitality with sales uh, license. So you'll click on that and add the city tax license. And then it also wants a social impact plan for each uh, license that you are transferring. So you wanna make sure that you have all of those social impact plans in one PDF, and then you'll add that, and then you'll click on continue application. And then again, you're just going to review everything for accuracy. And again, read the oath of application. If you agree to that, you'll check the box, and then you'll click on continue application. And then now we have completed both portions of the transfer of location package. So now we need to submit the application package so we can pay for the transfer of location application. And then here you can click on where it says click here to go back to the record list to see if you have it to pay any fees due. And what you'll look for on the right hand side is the pay fees due. So you'll find that you'll click on pay fees due, and then it's gonna tell you the price for each license that you're transferring. So it's gonna give you those price, and then so you're gonna click on continue application. And again, this page is just telling you the total amount that you're gonna pay for the transfer of location, and then you're gonna click on checkout now. And then this brings you to the payment page. And you can either pay with a credit card or a bank account. For this example, we're going to pay with a credit card. And I'm going to check on Visa card. And then you're going to enter in the credit card information. And then you'll enter in the expiration date. And then the zip code that is tied to the billing address for the credit card. And then you click on Complete Transaction. And then this page is your receipt page. You want to make sure that you print a copy of this page as your receipt. Excise and licenses will not email or mail you a copy of this receipt. So you want to make sure that you print a copy of this for your receipt. And then now the application has been submitted successfully to excise and licenses, and it can take up to seven to 10 business days for the initial review of the application. You'll wanna make sure that you watch your email for any emails from excise and licenses. It might say no reply, or it might say excise and licenses, but watch for emails from us. We will keep you up to date on the status of the application. If we have any questions or need more documents from you, we will email that to the email that we used to create this record. And so again, make sure that you watch your email for any communications from us. And again, it'll take seven to 10 business days for the initial review of the application. It may take longer to process the complete, the entire application. All right, so that concludes this training video for transfer of location. I'd like to thank you for watching this Denver Excise and Licenses video. And as always, if you have any questions, you can go to our marijuana website or you can contact 311. And again, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.